Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Hops, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Huh? Oh, huh. Dad left my grandpa Chekhov's vomit rifle. Well, he didn't take it because it's bolted to the wall with seven Imperial millimeter hyper peptidemagnetic screws. You don't have a seven in. Let's see, driver handy. Lose, lose. The storm is still raging outside. A real bit. Bad biting weather situation. Run to the barn? Sure. Let's see, you know, you were never sure what this haystack was for, considering you didn't keep any animals. Wonder if that needle you hidden it is still there. Yep, here it is. You got a needle. Nice. This is a painting of a bunch of tools, which you hung here to conceal your secret tool safe. Move it. There we go. Open. Oh crap, you've got the combination. Congratulations on... On a real ki ki si I don't know how to pronounce that. The old tub still has some water in it. Hey, it's your old crowbar. Must have fallen behind the welding bench. Guess Dad didn't notice it. We got a greasy crowbar. This is a tool for prying things open, like the door to a saloon for ravens, or a crate containing a tiny tavern for magpies. Or the boarded up window of a speakeasy for jackdaws. You get it. Farmbot, what kind of monster could have done this to you? Salvage the parts. Simon's robot friend Clarence gets more powerful. Okay. Wonder if we can use the crowbar in the safe. Nope, still don't remember the com. Yep, run back to the house. Nope. You know, I wonder what it's like to live in a house where the kitchen is a separate room. Dad must have taken the bathroom with him when he moved. Okay. I was terrified of this room as a kid. I still am. Those stuff devils are no joke. It's my old puzzle lock. I built this when I was 14. I got mad at Dad because he cleaned my room and mixed all my bolts and screws. Haha. Uh -huh. So the clickety clack too easy. This crate must have been delivered after I moved out. This group crowbar is too greasy to use. Blech. It's nice to see our little workspace again. Nostalgic. Clean up. You pack your old tools into a canvas rucksack. Then you sort out which bits of junk are parts and which are just actually junk. And dump both piles into the rucksack as well. Look, you never know. Finish. Okay, units. It's my old unit conversion poster. I wish I had an expo set it. Ex I don't know how to pronounce that word. The old nightstand. A handful of washes, a busted in half salvage pocket watch, and a dried out pen. Nothing worth taking. See you around, old bed. Thanks for your support. Let's see. Is there. Clean off the greasy crowbar. Plain water is basically useless for cleaning up grease, but you manage to find an old bar of soap. And with the ironic application of some elbow grease as well, you get the crowbar reasonably less gentrified. Okay, clean, clean crowbar. Which means... That you're in. Yeah, it's a set of Haptotron drivers. I've got, I ordered these. Okay, which means I can get the gum. Unscrew it. Oh, bogus. These drivers are in metric inches and you've totally forgotten the conversion. Okay, units. Look up me metric inches to imperial millimeters. Okay, one imperial millimeter is do 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 do. Take it. Wow, if the closest driver you've got is still a little too big for these screws. Total rubbish. Why did you even order these? Okay. Damn it, is there something I'm missing? Ask Clarence about the safe combination. Do you remember the combination of my tool safe? Oh yeah, thanks. Here we go. Woo! Looks like you took all your important tools to school with you. That's just an old grindstone in there. Hey, maybe you could use this grindstone to tool to tool your happy driver down to a smaller diameter. Do it. 
Okay, seven millimeter. Okay. And screw. Got some well deserved winnage. Simon learns a new skill Charkov's rifle. How you doing, Clarence? Beep boop, good to hear. That's all, Clarence. You've got all the tools and junk parts and junk. Head on back to Bright Ups? Sure. Hey, Simon, got everything you needed from your old hat place? Yep, and an unexpected bonus win as well. Oh, yeah, I thought that rifle looked a little familiar. You don't get a lot of varmints on campus, but hey, you never know. Continue onward. No one's called? Good to know. Character sheet. What did we. Perfect. Ah, oh, perfect teeth. Moxie. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see what was on the to do list. View. Let's see. Collect your payment from Don T. It's in the sewer in front of your antique store. Rufus wants you to get an antenna from a building at the Parkinson Village in Gray County. Do, 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 do. Okay. Check it out. Yep, 500 neat. Oh, we got a message. Here we go. Don T. Call them all back. Telephonic greetings. Don Telbrone is the person personage speaking to you currently. Hey, Don, how's the throat? Much improved. And furthermore, I appreciate the conversation. Inquiry, bright ups. You hear the sound of a cough drop being unwrapped. Perchance, are you familiar with a stead of home formerly populated by, the set, by a set of relations known as Papa Skaku? Nope. Hel Helco Oil Congolperation acqu acquired and then abandoned it. Abandoned presumably because the dwelling crew ascertained the presence of subterranean tunnelology inhabited by vampires to their determination, either fatally or worse. You hear another cough drop being unwrapped. So there's some caves. Oh, or uh, oh, I see. It's a mine that's full of vampires, and you guys want me want them cleared out so you can work it. We have yet to determine whether the mine will be valuable as a mine per choir mine. But regardless of the purpose we ultimately put it to, we require the vampires to be evicted from the premises. It gives you directions to the site. Okay, on it. So let's see what was our list to do. Meteorites, special bean based engine, fertilizer, see the building enter, and of course the vampires. Wrong one, map. To the bus stop, to gray, gray country. Let's see, Gilmore House. Where's black? Where's the oh there it is. Well, let's go to Mor Morose House. There is an ominous creak in the crack in the sky, and in the space of a single charred second, the wide farm road is drenched with a fast falling rain that bites to the bone. It's farm rain, all right. Cold as ice and twice as nasty. The long and level plains of this country offer no shelter except perhaps for a lone house you spy off in the distance, perhaps half a mile to the east. Let's see, we could run there now, or we could, because we've got cold, we can just keep going. The morose place. A note is a repossession from a bank. They've apparently already taken the mailbox. A strange looking telescope. A worried man, an astrom... an astrom... astronomer, but... Uh, astronomer, perhaps, besides, stands beside a weird telescope. Let's not tarry here, civilian, if you care for your safety before you lies a horror house. Civilian? Well, I don't take you as a surveyor. What's a horror house? A surveyor's term. Forgive me, a horror house is like a haunted house, only real. Haunted houses are real. All my life I've never surveyed one. You just have to trust me on this one. What makes this a horror house? That house there belongs to a farming family. The Mulrose clan. I should say belonged because they vanished, and I could should also have said doesn't belong because that house belongs to the bank. I speak of Jessup and Puddington National, who have commissioned me to assess the value of the house for its resale at auction. Let's see. What's the problem with this house? 
I'd say the pr problems with this house began with a meteorite from outer space smashed through the roof. I can see that might be an issue, sure. Three months later, the Morris clan fled by night and I presume by car. They ran off with no regard for their mortgage, can you imagine? So heartless, to care so little for the bank's bottom line like that. Uh-huh. I was thus sent to assess the value of the Mulros property for the bank, only... only I'm spooked. What are you... what's stopping from surveying the house? He shudders. Listen, I entered the surveyor's seminar, seminar to avoid the horrors of war, and here they are right at my, on my doorstep, which is that literal doorstep. I've surveyed every state of this great lands, and never have I seen anything so frightening and mixed up as the abnormalities in that house. I can make no sense of it. What abnormalities? Just, you know, things. Mixed up things. Can you be more specific? No, I don't know how to describe it. Why don't I take a look? I don't think you have the eyes of a surveyor. No, but on the other hand, I'm not too scared to go into a house. I guess I wouldn't do any harm to me. Here. Here's what I'll do. I'll give you the house key, and if somehow you can fix whatever's going on enough for me to carry out my work, you can be, you can have ten percent of whatever my valuation happens to be. Fair? How much you talking about? What do you mean? How much is a house worth? Why don't you tell me how much you think a house is worth, and we'll go from there. Let's see. Fifty thousand meat. Dear Lord, man, never pay fifty thousand anything for a house. No, if I'm right, this house is worth 5,000 meat, which will be a fee of 500 for you. What do you say? Sure, have a look. Go and stuff. Good luck, and for your own safety, don't look too closely at anything. You're not a trained surveyor. What do you think happened to them? That's not for me to survey, but between you, me, and this tra trio do delight, something strange must have transpired. This was a highly profitable farm. What kind of name is Moros? I think it's foreign. What country? I don't know, I haven't surveyed abroad. How did they vanish? I can't say, I wasn't there to survey it. Do you know Oaks, Oaksla Barnhill? No, I don't believe they've surveyed here. Sounds like a fun time. Well, bye. Stands ready to measure the angles of the house. Sure, there's a bug on the lens. Appraise it. Who's to say the value of a bug? Me, I can say. What is the value of a bug? Every bug is worth something. Let's go with five. Five meat. The bug is thus surveyed and appraised. The bank probably wants to repossess the hay in this stack. If they had their ways, banks would probably take a bale out of everyone's stacks. Hey, a stack of something. There, there it is. You got a noodle. A proverbial noodle in a haystack. The bank will likely repossess the well's rope and is probably working. Has likely repossessed the rope and is probably working on the rest. Boxes are empty, the banks want them just the same. As you head to the backyard, the surveyor speaks up with you from, beh from behind you. Sorry, it's against surveyor code to enter a backyard without permission. You'll need to go through the front door. That's ridiculous. I don't make the rules, I'm just a stickler for them. Fine, whatever. You unlock the door and then toss the key back to the surveyor. What in the world? Let's see, a bolt. A bronze plaque on the table is inscribed Mailross. On the top drawer you find a large stack of orders for Mailross produce, impaled on a spike and a collection of handwritten letters inquiring if the house is for sale, also impaled on a spike. On the bottom one, a note from Matt Nabby Bolt Mailross to order more spikes for mail. Well you're not supposed to cry over spilled milk, spilled chowder is another thing entirely. Okay, we can at least get through that door. Quite a fine piece of furniture. The farm must have been doing well before its ruination by meteor and subsequent abandonment. Each of us is but a ch chess piece on a board, if you think about it. Yes. And which are you? Let's see. Personally, I'm thinking queen. Reason for that? We tend to do ever sort everyone's shit out. If there's an ear of corn, the full corn man must be enormous. Okay. So you get near a thing and it just pulls you to the room. The only lights left working in the room. The other bulbs must have vanished with the Milros. Turn it off. Another location and even odder rotation for a refrigerator. You got a gallon jug of bitters. 
The only thing in the refrigerator is a massive jug of bitters. Bitters don't don't really need to be kept cold, so it's a lucky thing this refrigerator is not working. Ooh. All right, back in we go. Whoops. Wait, what was? Okay. If it's the bank's house, the bank can do the dishes. Whoops. Oh, we're out in the backyard. These warm homes have made a real dog's dinner of the dog's dinner. Empty. Perhaps the dog has been sent to live at a bank of state. A pot with the pigs in. Say hello. Hello, sir. Snarf. Thanks, we'll talk. Are you a big pig or a little pig? Snarf. Pot with a pig in it. Oh, it's another one of those picket fences Will the Hunter asks you about. No need to keep painting them. We'll paint it anyway. Having fulfilled the conditions to overturn Will Hunter's curse, there is nothing further to be gained by painting excess fences, except by certain aesthetic standards, a more beautiful world. Paint it for the more beautiful world? Paint it! It has no obvious impact on any curses anywhere, but a nice clean and clean fence is its own reward. Looking at the back of the house, the, the fourth wall you might say, you can see that it's a that it's broken. You can see inside where a built big gash has been covered up with the new siding. Front of the house? Ah, uh, got permission in the backyard, I see. See what? The wormhole swallows all the light in the room. Break the light. Huh. Well, let's try. The game nears its end, but it's not over, and the fate of the queen is yet to be written. Oh, what the? Turn it on. Okay, so that leads into here. So turn... Okay. So that gets me into the bathroom, but not much further. Let's see, we went to the sink. That's what got us to pulled into the backyard. A curiously colossal curiously colossal cabbages, grotesquely giant garlic, and an enormous egg. Okay. Though it might be convenient to have a shortcut to the kitchen, taking it has ruined your appetite. Throw a rock. See what this way goes. Okay, leads us to here. A telegraph machine is upside down. Could be an Australian model. There's a new telegram. Anon did do not abandon house. Stay stop, stay on the property ladder. Stop. Anon do not abandon house. Stop. Stay on the property ladder. Stop. This direct order from your papa, stop. AKA the main morose. Oh whoops. Okay, we broke. Okay. So. There's a name sewn on the knapsack. Little Honus Morose. Inside is a straw doll ballooned to enormous proportions. Take it. It's too large to extract from the knapsack. Let's 
so apparently whatever we did over there has shrunk it down enough to let us get by. A huge sheet of memo papers tucked under the telephone. Someone has written the name and f telephone number of the local dog pound, but someone else has crossed that part out and put dad pound. Who would you like to phone? Dog pound. The phone falls apart in your hand, and with it the hopes of speaking to a dog pound. You got an item of fuse that probably isn't good for the value of the house. The phone is broken, nobody's speaking to a dog pound today. Despite this disarray, this really is not a fortune magnificent foyer. Oh wait, sorry, despite this disarray, this really is a magnificent foyer designed, if you're not mistaken, by the style of art to check day s foyer. Let's go upstairs. The morose place. A letter just out of reach. They say a man's hot reach should exceed his grasp, but that's not helpful advice when it comes to letters. Dang, the letter's just too high. Perhaps if you double jumped, but no, no, that's never been done. It can't be done. I'm gonna try anyway. Terrific, the vibrations caused by a double landing have loosened the letter from its restraints. A note is pinned directly above the crate, bringing it to the attention of anyone using the crate. Gardener, after your chores today, lock the bathroom door and melt down the key in the kitchen. It is unconsciousable for, to me that any man but a Mot Moros should call this glorious house his home. The Moros left in such a hurry they forgot their huge collection of attic plates. Yellow newspapers tell the story of the Moros family. And what story is that? Three months ago, a meteorite struck this farmhouse, at which resided Amon and Nabi Molros, their sons Gardner and Little Honus, and the family dog Clifford. The Molros business greatly prospered immediately following this episode. A music box playing a pensive tune. We grab the music box. It's creepy shit. All the desk drawers disappeared along with the Moros, ex all the drawers but one. We found some spare meat in what appears to be an unfinished letter to a men's magazine. Dear editors, I write to inquire what advice you possess on maintaining a healthy marriage when the dog is too big. Our dog is becoming larger by the day, which may require us to l relinquish the marital, be marital bedroom so that the hound might have a home appropriate to his size. My wife considered this suggestion very strange and bad. It ends there. A broke prevents access to the armorer's convertible drawers. Untie. You, it's off. You got a length of rope. Now what contraband could a farm boy have been hiding in the most sacred places of an armoire? Aha! The farm boy to whom the armoire belongs has used the top drawer to stash his most shameful possessions. Magazines on urban planning. The magazines make for a fascinating read. You'll never plan a city the same way again. Uh, the Maros have a day stand. A day stand has all the strengths of a night stand and none of its weaknesses. Little loose change in the smattering of business cards. Robert F. Cameron, agent. Best rates for house? Gr Toby Goose, broker. Sell your property today? Herbert Hopp, no fancy real estate agent, just a common sense man. Abandon your house. It's a big mirror. Yep. This must be the meteorite and the source of all this wormhole trouble. Best not get too close. You don't have time to get caught in an infinite loop of falling between two well wormholes. Grab it. The sheer suction get traded by this perpetual wormhole loop would rip your hands off in a second. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. I'm strong. You gain an effect. Hand injury. You're right, your hand was not literally ripped off, just maimed. Consider it a moral victory, though you still don't have the meteorite. Throw a rock at it. Let's see. There's a rock in there now too. Shoot it with a gun. There's a rock in there now too. Grab the rock. The sheer suction generated by this perpetual wormhole loop has already sheared your hand once, and you don't need another rock. Okay, but do it though. You gain another hand injury. Eh, worth a try. Spooky music box. A spooky music box from a spooky house. Alright, let's see where this goes.
Okay, the middle rest place, quite an unusual bed frame arrangement. Okay. Look for the key. Look for the key in the door. Yes, the key is not in the door, but at least now you know that for certain. The investigation continues. Our dragnet, dragnet is tightening. Length of rope. Tie the rope. Descend down the well. Okay. Either the Moros family was scared of something outside, or curtains are just too expensive. Pry the boards off. Let's see, this must be remaining interior damage from from the meteor strike. Yikes! Moros place. Okay, so we can't really do anything from down there. Up we go. Go around the back of the house. You got you got a key in that pot? Casting a flashlight around the cortez of the stuck pig, you spy something shiny in the obscure depths of the cast iron pot. Maybe that's a key? Now how to remove the pig from the pot? Just throw the pig out. The quit pig absolutely hoots and hollows as you hoist his pot above your head and tip it upside down. The pig drops from the pot but lands on all fours, as pigs will do after a fall from any height. You also shake the key from the pot, which you pocket, but the key has scurried away into the cornfield, well beyond pocketing range. You got burned morose key. A burned key, spared from total annihilation by the grace of a pig in a pot. That'll do. So let's see. The sink is helpfully free of outer space nonsense. Splash some water. You lose some effects. We lost the hand injuries. Hooray. This is a far away from where a couch should be. The new, a brand new bathtub. No Moros ever got a chance to use it. Not so fast. New bathtubs are like storage box clothes. They should be washed before they're used. Well, wash it then. With what? An even larger bathtub that you'd have to get delivered new and itself unwashed? It's impossible. You'd need an ever larger series of bathtubs. Oh really? It's called Bath's Paradox. Who? Roland Baths? The philosopher? He only He's only 13, but already has some interesting ideas about baths and tubs. Use it. But the paradox. Use it! Bath's Paradox. Oops, wrong one. Okay, toilet's not an option. Yet. Let's see what's this way. Okay, we found the bedroom. So the other straw gets the bed with the pillow. It's a letter taped to the desk. From the desk of little harness. If you are the outer space man who blessed this family with your meteorite pleasant, meteor pleasant, please know that we did not abandon it lightly. We will forever be grateful for the gift you have of your abundance, good spaceman. But as our crops have grown, so too has our dog Clifford. He is too large even for the house, and so we have decided as a family to find a new and bigger home. I hope you understand. I also hope you could send a letter for, for me that I did not have time to take to the post office. I have left it in my pillow. Thank you, spaceman. Best wishes, little Hornus. Search the pillow. The morose letter. Luckily there's only one pillow to search or you'd be here all day. Let's see. Address, let's see, little Hornus Morris to the, of the Morris place to Mary, please, at the please place. Dear Mary, as I warned might happen in our last cornfield rendezvous, 
Clifford has finally become too big for the house. Rather than surrender him to the pound, we are all going to live in the ocean. Therefore, we must pause our relationship. I know it is not the first time you've heard this excuse from a pseudo, and I hope this does not damage your capacity for trust. I have asked an outer space man to deliver this letter. If he gives you any trouble, I have left weapons in my Marcus Aurelius. Yours, little Hermes. Put it away. The book case contains one copy of Marcus Aurelius and 39 more copies of Marcus Aurelius. You're surprised the bookcase has been, hasn't been pulled into a wormhole next to it. Where would it end up? Check the books. As little Mar- Onus oh, implied in his letter, one of these copies of Marcus Aurelius is hollowed out and conceals a weapon. It's a huge brick. It appears that all the books are hollowed out and contain huge bricks. You removed the bricks from the books. Pile of just smaller than book size thing. Let's see, push it. Not entirely sure where that's going to end up, but... Bookcase is blocking the light from the window behind it. Close the shutters. At rest, finally. Take it. Okay, we got the meteor, right? Wait, what was that? Replace the what? This is where you find the meteorite. A flag to mark the spot would be customary if a colonialist. Oh, he just literally put it back. That's strange. These rooms don't adjoin, didn't rejoin before. Note the oddity. Certainly is a strange choice. Ah, I see. This toilet is so broken that it's been disconnected from the plumbing. Ah, turns out this is a supply closet that has been almost completely stripped of supplies. Got septic pencil and some charcoal. Let's see, this leads to the kitchen. Curse leads to do. Ah, there's a little money stuck to the bottom of the pots. We'll take that. Let's see, this mod's kitchen appears overtaxed by th these oversized ingredients. Okay, we can't- wait. Can't really do anything else up here. Go down. So, balloon to enormous take it. It's too large for the net sack. Oh, what's a strange choice to put this bathroom on the ground floor? Shouldn't it be next to the primary bedroom? Strange indeed. Is there anything down at the well? Nope, it's just empty. So, wait, something's. Something's off. So, how? So let's see. Do 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 do. So the so there's a bathroom here, but I hmm idea wrong what wrong idea. Place the meteorite. Closing the shutters. Oh, 
Okay, we'll put you back. So let's see, can we work out how we're meant to get to the... Get to the bathroom. Okay. Don't think we ever went. Yeah, we didn't go this way. The box appears to be labeled in arcane script, possibly eldritch in origin. Oh, wait, no, it's just upside down. If you ever wanted to see what it looked like to tip this, this to, with the tip of a life lights on, its, on your chin, this is your chance. And we're flushing that toilet just because. Let's see. Yeah, it seems that with that taken care of. Wrong direction. Well, again, I hope you have surveyed reason and are here to accept my offer. That house assists cheese with wormholes. You know, it's not really horrible in there, just a little disorganized. Let's see, I valued the bug on your lens. A what? Five mate. I hope you don't think I'm giving you 10% of that. That wasn't the deal. See, the house is Swiss cheese with wormholes. I don't think you're 100% correct in your observation. To my eyes, those wormholes don't have, couldn't have been made by a worm. It's not really that horrible in there, just disorganized. But his organization was born from the world's greatest horrors. Werewolves, for instance. Werewolves? Exactly. Werewolves. If we were organized, we would know, know where the wolves were, and we have no reason to fear them. Do you see my point? Yes. We'll make a surveyor of you yet. I found your problem. In summary, we don't believe in problems, only opportunities. But go on. I have the meter, right? The wormholes are gone. Joyous news. Now the real work can begin. If you can spare the time, I'll be back in a mere moment with my valuation. I can already tell you the layout of the house is very bad. He chuckles. Really? Do you think so? Let me be the judge of that. I think I know a little something about surveying. No problem. I'll wait. Whoop, ski, hoff. The sound of surveying fills the air. And then... My goodness, I was right about this being a horror house, but not in the way I first thought. The kitchen on the upper floor, with a dining room downstairs, sandwiched between a bathroom and a bedroom? The living room adjacent to, a pr to the primary bedroom, and both connected only by a narrow hallway that requires you pass through a bathroom? Sir, this aesthetic is, the most, is of the most extreme disorder. The house is rotten at, at its core. I would have valued it at 2,000 meat, but the telephone is inoperable, so let's knock that down to 199... 1,990. That means one one ninety nine meat for you, as per our deal. You know, the layout is actually better with the wormholes. Oh, so The living room is up the foyer, not upstairs. You're right. I remember that from my initial inspection. Look, for a sensible layout, this house could easily go for... With a sensible layout, this house could easily go for 5,000. I, I think buyers will put up with nauseating holes in the fabric of reality, but not having to walk through a bathroom to their dining room. Let's see. Let's see, the house could sell for 5,000 meat. Let's say 570. Oh, okay. Good, of course I need the meteorite to restore the house to order. Let's see, let's see. Let's say it said he didn't need the whole meteorite. Yeah, it's yours, bud. Well, Ultra needs the meteorite. I'll go with your first offer. That might be the most money any of us see out of this house. I think the bank will flip it into a quarry, but it's been a pleasure to do business with you. I hope I'll survey you in the future. Yep. Okay. Well, we solved that problem. Next up. A pitiful scarecrow slumps in a field, frightening nobody. Crows bring their friends to laugh at him. 
Make a scarier crow. You embellish the scarecrow with extra eyes and a dynamic smile. The crows burst into tears. They're only children! Who belong? But yes, until next time, my name is Bradoffs. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.